I decided to record this video as I'm driving because it just makes sense. Um, so the new Tasha Cobb's album has come out. And I know I'm like a couple weeks behind, but it's all right. But anyway, Tasha Cobb has a song on there where she has Nicki Minaj featured. And of course, the church is in an uproar because they're like, how can you have her on there? You know, she's not a saint. She's not uh, blah, 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 blah. And everybody has something to say. Well, this fella right here has something to say about it too. I think the Nicki Minaj feature on the song I'm Gonna See is a calculator risk and olive branch all in one. Calculator risk because Tasha Cobbs is a very well-known gospel artist. Everyone knows her for, you know, break every chain, break every chain. And then they also know her for, I'm gonna put a praise on it. You know, all those songs. So, for you to come through and do a song where you are obviously um, mixing the two worlds is a huge thing. Now, am I in favor of it? Yes. I think it is a move that kind of shakes the church at its core. It kind of makes us really wonder like this is something different because we're winding the tape back a year or so ago. Did nobody say nothing when Beyonce was on um, when Jenny said yes, nobody can say no. Nobody said nothing about that. Then nobody said nothing about when she showed up to the Stellar Awards and they're all like, oh, Beyonce's at the Stellar Awards. Then nobody said nothing about that. Y'all let that slide. Fix that. Then nobody said nothing back in the day when Kirk Franklin was doing songs with, you know, Pep from Salt and Pepper. Um, R. Kelly, uh, Bono, Mary J. Blige. Didn't nobody say nothing then for real. But now that Tasha Cobbs does something with Nicki Minaj, who obviously is secular and has very raunchy music, everybody's got something to say. Do I think that this is a song that people need to be dancing to in church? Nope. Is it a nice song for just another track on the album? Yeah. It's not a bad song. I mean, it's an interesting song. You know, and her verse is not bad you know it's it's basic but it ain't bad you know so i think that really we need to back up and get off tasha stop because everybody trying to you know make her feel like she should feel bad for what she did she is an artist and she has artistic abilities and freedoms so if you feel like she shouldn't have done that and that she shouldn't have done a song with that skip the track skip it just because she does one song that doesn't mean that it completely negates her anointing it doesn't negate her um presence you know pulling people into the you know presence of the lord that doesn't stop that because if, if it was if we was really gonna call a spade a spade then a lot of these people out here would not be able to function because, yeah, you think on that. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to just let you think about what I'm thinking. And hopefully you figure it out. But, yeah, I think that she was okay. It wasn't bad. It was an okay move. It was all right. You know, but uh, does this mean there's going to be more? Does this mean that Nikki's going to perform the Stellar Awards next year? Does this mean there's going to be an uprising of more artists doing stuff blurring the lines between the secular world and the gospel? Oh my gosh, could it really be that we're going to start listening to each other's differences and honoring each other's differences, but not compromising? Hmm. Think on that! <laughs>